All right, I have some tips for you before you begin your favorite digital collage project. Images, we talked about this when we entered it, but you should probably make your own folder either on Google Drive or utilize something like Google Keep to keep your images as you're curating them. That means you're going out and finding them because you do want to have those images ready to be able to create um, your project with. When you're creating your project, there is the whole workspace around your actual document. So this is a screenshot of mine way zoomed out that shows that I have images on the side and I would use those and move them and put them there and store them and all of that. So you can see I have a couple I didn't use. I really love skulls, um, but it just didn't work for what it was going with. I had it in there and I took it out. So to get to zoom out, you would come over here to the magnifying glass and you would just come all the way over here to zoom out. There are keystrokes for it if you want to do that. Uh, I usually forget that and just go to zoom out. Another thing that as you're creating this project, utilize that master page. That master page is awesome because you can put things on it that if you know you want them at the very back, add to it. So after I added my master page, I then figured out I had two images, the yoga position and the leaves, that once I figured out where I want them, I got tired of accidentally selecting things. That yoga pose is half the page right there. So I just simply copied and cut them and then applied them on the master page. Now they were exactly where I wanted them and I wouldn't select them. You know, on mine, the food items are right here by the leaves. And every time I was trying to rearrange it, I kept selecting the leaves. And so I just added it and made it a lot simpler. Resources. So you have a Google Sites that has our videos on it that we've done, the one through eight. There is a YouTube playlist of curated videos. And if I come up with anything else, I will put it here. These curated videos are not my videos. They're ones that are very similar to our topic of how to do these certain things. They are kind of put together a little bit differently, but sometimes you need to hear it from somebody else. Uh, Y'all get tired of my voice. I know it. All right. So these are resources to help you get started. 